Hey everyone, Steve here. Uh, I thought today we'd take a look at my Sega CD collection. Um, we've got about 55 games. I got them all laying here. Um, as you can see, we have a uh, JVC XI right here. And I actually prefer playing games on that to the Sega CD over here because the load times are so much quicker. Um, we'll just kind of scan around here for a little bit. Um, this pile right here are uh, my favorites. And uh, I got some other games lying around here. I got some that I don't have the original cases for, like Sewer Shark here. Um, I have the uh, the manual here, but I don't have the, the box for it. Um, I got Mortal Kombat, Wonder Dog, uh, Soccer Game, Afterburner 3, um, Bill Walsh College Football and Pitfall and <laughs> and Marky Mark what a horrible game that is what a horrible idea um, Sega Classics here from the Genesis Streets of Rage Revenge of Shinobi Columns and Golden Axe four really good games then on the back here shows uh, Sherlock Holmes that's uh, another game it's got two CDs um, this one's just like music videos and stuff like that I never really use this case and over here you can see some more of the games like Bouncers and Tomcat Alley and uh, NHL Hockey, Space Ace, Rise of the Dragon, um, another Pitfall. I do have that one in the box too. Got some doubles. Not too many though. Um, here you see uh, CD Backup Ram Cart. Uh, you use this to save your games. And then here's my favorites, Solfees. That one's a really cool one. Uh, 2D shooter like Life Force and stuff like that. Um, Load Star is pretty cool. It's a neat rail shooter. Um, Dungeon Master 2. That one's pretty cool. It's uh, kind of like Shadowgate on NES. Chuck Rock here is a 2D platformer. Um, it's a lot like uh, Joe and Mac on the uh, Super and Nintendo. Don't know how many of you remember that. And here's Mortal Kombat. Don't really have to say a whole lot about that. It's a pretty cool game. Everybody knows it. Show the back here. Pretty awesome game. Arena made the uh, Genesis version as well. Sylphid. That one's pretty cool. It's kind of like an old arcade shooter uh space shooter um it does use uh polygons though and it's it's kind of neat sonic cd this is one of my favorites of all time very good game exciting it's as good as the first two or three sonic games it's got a little twist in it big thumbs up to that one Wing Commander, uh, it's kind of a funny old game. It's uh, mostly a point and click, but you also got, go out in space and shoot guys up. And It had a lot of good sequels after this one. And Echo the Dolphin. <laughs> um, my girlfriend, Angie12 Forever, she has a YouTube on here, a little plug. She says Echo's very cute. Uh, so now... Uh, Show you the back, and then we'll get to uh, to playing some of these games. Uh, I'll play three of them in particular, the one I'm holding here, and then a couple others. We'll play them on the JVC XI. All right, here's the XI. Very cool. Um, it's got a really quick load. Um, here you see you can play a game or music on it just like all of the CD players at the time. Got a cool Sega logo with the uh, Master System music. I'm just going to kind of skip through the beginning here. And you can see how quick the load times are after I hit start each time. And it goes into a little video of the game. And I broke up the uh, game footage here to show you some, some cooler parts. It, see, it's a lot like Life Force, where you can build up your weapons. And it's a pretty cool space shooter. 
very cool bosses. Um, very original. Uh, you gotta watch out too, there's always space junk flying around and you can't shoot that stuff. Uh, so you gotta dodge it constantly. But this is this is one of the uh, a classic type of game here. Very cool. Um, very neat boss. Uh, well, like a Black Widow there, I think, was what they were going for. <laughs> Alright, a little bit of echo. The music and sound effects in this game are excellent. Um, load times are quick. Um, you see how I have a health bar and an air gauge, and you have to uh, make sure that you don't run out of air. Um, jellyfish are some of the main enemies and you can kill them by dashing. Um, you can talk to other dolphins, they give you clues or just comment about you. You gotta jump over obstacles like that. And you use that dash a lot. That ja dash is an attack and it's also used to um, eat fish. You can eat fish for health. Um, like these little guys down here, you just dash into them and eat them. go through tunnels and it's a very cool game. And Sonic CD, one of the best Sonic games, it's right up there with the first two. Um, it's it's got some nice twists to it. In the levels you'll find that there are uh, there are future and past signs. Um, if you run into those in the level, the next level um, is based on the future or past depending on what you hit um, so it'll be a future where Robotnik has taken over and he's killed you know all the plant life and animal life in the area or if you go to the past it's really overgrown and vegetation everywhere one of the weak twists to the story in this one like Sonic has a great story or anything but you're saving plants yeah Sonic's a bit of a hippie Here's one of the future levels. You can see it's all mechanized. And here's one of the Robotnik battles. The battles were pretty unique. Very fun game. The, the level design is just amazing. And there he goes, saving plant life. <laughs> well, everybody, thanks for uh, watching the video. and. Have a good night, alright?